I realized that success is fleeting. And as a fighter, you're only as good as your last fight because as soon as you win, the clock starts ticking again. That's what drives me to evolve and improve every day in everything that I do. My name is Mei Wee. Mei has mastered more things than most will in a lifetime. Her path to greatness started back when she took up swimming as a child. Mei would go on to compete in the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, representing Singapore. I was swimming competitively for about 14 years, and at the end of that, I was just really tired of the training regimen, the pressure from competition, and not having a normal life. She went to college and eventually medical school. But then she stumbled on a martial art called capoeira, fell in love with it, and she mastered that too. That was her first step into MMA. MMA means mixed martial arts. You will be fighting against an opponent in the cage, but you can use any form of martial arts that you're comfortable with. I started with capoeira. I have really good ground game in jiu-jitsu, so I like to take my fights to the floor and I like to finish my opponents on the floor. I think I've choked out most of my opponents. When I was training recreationally, I got really good and a lot of people asked me to compete. I refused to because I didn't want to be in that competitive environment anymore. But I met Hoyla Gracie, who is royalty in the martial arts world. Once he saw May train, he knew that she was destined for greatness. He encouraged her to compete, and so she did for five years, becoming one of Singapore's best fighters. Caught in trouble! And now May is taking time away from competition and once again mastering something new. We're gonna work on the jinga first. So I work with children from two and a half to 12. Dosh, dosh. I grew up in a middle class family and I didn't have a lot of opportunities, but through swimming and sports, I had amazing opportunities and had a lot of doors that opened for me. Now that I have the means to give back. I like to give back to Singapore and help grow the sporting culture in Singapore. 